Hi there, I'm Manoj and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss the two sum problem from lead code. As you can see here, it is an easy question and it is based on arrays. And I'll leave a link to this question in the description. So let us first read the question description. Given an array of integers, nums, and then integer target, written indices of the two numbers such that they add up to the target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. So let's solve it. The first thing that appears in your brain whenever you read the description is the brute force approach, right? Just using a two loops and traversing the through the array and checking for any two elements which sum up to the target. This is an outer loop and another loop which is a inner loop. So what we are going to do here is we are going to make nested loops uh, using these two loops one inside other and we are going to traverse through the array as we don't need the same element twice summing up to the target so we will exclude that condition where the outer loop and the inner loop uh, are at the same position of the array. The time complexity in this case would be big of n square. So this is how the code looks for the brute force approach. So there is a function which has these attributes called nums which is the input array and a target variable which we need to check for and a output variable in the form of list. So we are using these two for loops. The first for loop traverses through the array and as it traverses through the array, the second nested for loop traverses each and every element except for the present element which the outer loop is traversing. So we need to check for this condition uh, if i not equals to j as it is mentioned here that the same element cannot be used twice. So after checking for that condition, we have other the main condition which we need to check if two elements sum up to the target. If the condition is satisfied, we return a list. So let us submit this code. So as we can see here, it is accepted. But you know, this is a brute force approach. So you shouldn't use brute force uh, in your programming interviews most of the time because its complexity is very high. So let us look into some other approach. So rather than having two loops, let us have a single loop and traverse through the array. And as we traverse through the array, let us store the complement for each position of the array. So for example, as we traverse through this loop, our first element is two. So our target element is 9. So the complement would be 9 minus 2, which is 7. So we are going to create a dictionary in Python and the keys would be the complements. The first key would be 7. Let me make it bigger to, it'll be easy for you to see. So we are going to store the complements in the key positions and in the place of values, we are going to store the position of each element. As we are computing the complement for the zeroth element in the array, we are going to store zero in the values place. So this process continues until the end of the array, until we traverse through the whole array. So as we move on to the next element, the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to check if this element 7 is present in our keys array, where it is present. So we found the solution. So if the current element exists in the key array, we're going to return the position of the current element and the value of this complement, which is zero. As the access time in dictionaries is constant, we'll probably get a less time complexity when compared to the brute force. So let us look into the code for this approach. So the code for this approach looks something like this. We have the same two sum function with the same attributes as we have previously. And this time we're going to have a dictionary 
call check and we only going to have a single loop as we need to traverse through the array only once and in on each traversal we are going to store the complement uh, which is the subtracted value of the target and the, the current element in a variable called complement and we are going to check if the current element already exists in the keys array and if it is present in the current dictionary it will return true and we are going to return the position of the current element and the value of that key value pair in case if the current element is not present in the dictionary we are going to add the complement as key and the position as value to the dictionary as the access time in dictionaries is constant this solution will probably be less complicated than the brute force so let us submit this so that's it for this video i hope you guys understood the solution if you did please like the video and subscribe for more lead code solutions if you want me to solve some specific questions leave them in the comments below so i'll meet you in the next video